Drive through any suburban neighborhood and you're bound to see at least one of those freestanding basketball hoops and maybe some children playing near it. Now that equipment is under scrutiny in Cicero for causing trouble for first responders. CBS 5's Sarah Beth Ackerman is with the Live Eye with new information right now. Michael, this is what crews are dealing with on a daily basis. You'll notice right here, the basketball hoop here is the same height as the windshield. The Cicero Fire Department says this puts them at risk, especially when they're responding to an emergency. Chief John Barrett with the Cicero Fire Department is calling on Cicero neighbors, saying it's time to move the basketball hoops off the streets. There's 15, 20 of them on you know, area streets. When the hoops spill into the streets, Chief Barrett says it poses a major problem. While there hasn't been a crash in a long time, fire crews are still dodging the hoops. They call them near misses, where it was almost an accident. But they're not always that lucky. This picture you see here is just one accident they had many years ago. The windshield was smashed after colliding with a basketball hoop. On that incident, I was the uh, uh, captain at the time in the vehicle, and it was unavoidable because um, it was hanging into the road and we had the passing vehicle in the other lane. Some neighbors like John Bacon know this is a problem in his neighborhood and says he never keeps his basketball hoop close to the road. One, because I don't, I don't want my kids playing in the road. And two, again, it, is, it would become a hazard, and especially bringing it in every night would become something I don't want to do. If the town of Cicero passes this ordinance, neighbors will have to move the hoops. If not, a code enforcement officer could issue a notice. While Cicero town officials work on creating the ordinance, the fire department is urging neighbors to help them out. Don't leave the hoop out there. Take it down at night. Take it down when it's not being used. Cicero town officials say they're still in the early stages of creating this local law. Now, it does have to be approved by the town board. Town officials say they're hopeful that it could be passed in the next couple of weeks. For now, reporting live in Cicero, I'm Sarah Beth Ackerman.